everyone and welcome back to my channel Webin Apps with Edit. Today we'll be discussing about React JS. To install React JS and to make React JS run in your system, you need to have Node installed in your system. So if you have not seen my video of installing Node into your system, I will share the link in my description box plus the card which is popping up. You can click on it and you can see how to install Node.js into your system. So once your Node is installed, you need to create a folder where you want all your React codes to be there. So currently I have created a folder inside C drive a react folder and inside that I'll be creating my react codes. So to create react codes, we don't have to create a folder over here. We just need to have an original folder so that all our things are sorted inside it. So I need to go and create this from the command prompt itself. So to start off with my react, I need to even install VS code for us. You can even do without VS code with a normal editor that's like a notepad or something, but it's always better to go with VS code. If you don't know how to install VS code and how to start off using it, I have also made a video on the same. You can go and look that video. Link will be in the description box as well as the card which is popping up. You can click on it and you can view that. So let's get started. Over here currently my VS code is open. I need to create a folder or precisely a program which I want to run. So currently I am inside my terminal. So in my VS code I have an option over here that's a terminal create a new terminal. So I've already clicked on it and I can see a terminal is there. As I've said, I have created a folder called as React inside C drive where I want to store everything that I'll be doing in React. So now I have to install React. So to install React, the command is npm install hyphen g create hyphen react hyphen app so this is the command that we need to create a react app so this is going to install react into my system yes my react has already been installed and it is saying now you can start out doing your work so you are working using node.js so you will be using a particular pattern for it so you can see we have already used npm which is a command in node itself so it is going to create a separate node for each react application that we are trying to create now i have to create my react app my very first application so the command is npx create react hyphen app and whatever name you want to give so as always we go with hello world and i just need to enter so npx create react app hello world this will create a new react app you can see it's creating in c react hello world by the time it initiated it you can see a hello world has popped up on my screen as well a folder is getting ready with all the required things that it needs so it needs installed react because that's for the import statements we'll be re using react react dom that is react document object model react scripts and many more things which will be part of react so all these things are getting installed by itself so we just have to run one command and this particular thing will be getting created for all the programs that you. So next time when you create npx create app and you say like for example abc, it will create a folder abc with all these things inside it. So every time we have to run an application, we need to go inside that folder and do the specific task. All right, so you can see now it has come cd hello world and npm stuff we suggest you that begin by typing so currently my entire app is created and uh, my folder is ready for use so it's by default telling you what exactly you need to do first so now inside my react folder the folder which has come that's hello world i need to go inside that folder so i need to write cd hello world and once i am inside it it will give me a prompt to start so i need to do npm start this command will start my local host for react local host for react comes with localhost colon 3000 
So it will open the local host for us and all our code will be running on that. So we don't have to go double click and run the application. It will be loaded on the local host by us. It just prompts up some warning and all, but you can see starting the development server. So my server is getting initiated. My page has opened up and you can see it's showing me localhost 3000. So you can see my localhost 3000 has fully loaded with the first page showing the react symbol and it's saying if you want save the particular code in this and you can reload it. So currently we'll go to find out how is my folder that has been created looks like. So here you can see compiled successfully and so on. Now let's go to hello world. In hello world I have node modules, I have public and I have src. If you are doing it for the web application, so we need to go to src and we need to use index.js file where we'll be writing all the JavaScript codes. So currently if we click on it, you can see the basics of React and React DOM is initiated over here. So currently we are not writing any code over here, but you can see the skeleton structure is ready for viewable. Inside public, you have index.html page. The main file which runs whenever you are running npm start. So this is the file which is going to correspond to localhost 3000. In the app.js file, you can see there are a terms which says edit src app.js and save to reload. Learn react. This is the content that is displayed on my scene. If you can see in app.js file, it says index src, edit src, app.js and save to reload. So over here, what is return is displayed over here. So if I just change this content, it means this one line of code. And I write it as hello world. And I just need to save my code. I don't need to reload my page. I just save my code. It's compiling and you can see hello world has come. I have not gone on the browser to refresh my page. This is one advantage with React is it simultaneously updates as you have made the changes and you have saved your server restarts again, compiles your codes and gives the relevant output which is needed. So this is the basic of React, loading, creating a React app, starting a React app and launching the React app onto the web browser and making some relevant changes. In my next video, we'll be looking about what are components in React and how we can work with components in React. So we'll be working more with index.js file and index.html file. So index.js file is inside the SRC and index.html file is inside the public. So these are the two pages we'll be using a lot to work with, to start off with React currently. So that's all in this video. Hope you liked my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and pass on to your friends and families. Thank you for watching.